grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. This evening's service of evening prayer is in celebration of the Feast of the Visitation, when Blessed Mary visited her cousin Elizabeth to share the good news of her pregnancy with, with Jesus. But I am also mindful that faith leaders from around the country and from every faith tradition have asked that June 1st be observed as a national day of mourning and prayer for those who have died from COVID-19. As of Thursday, May 28th, when I am recording this, over 100,000 people in the United States have died from this disease. Over 326 people have died in the state of Oklahoma, and in Oklahoma County, there have been 1,241 cases and 59 deaths. Our service begins on page 117 of the Book of Common Prayer. Perhaps you have your own copy. Otherwise, I've provided links in the description under this video that will take you to the section of the, of the prayer book for evening prayer, as well as to the area where we'll be reciting our psalm. We begin on page 117 with the Invitatory and Psalter. I invite you at this time to find a place and a posture that helps in your prayer. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Say together, O gracious light. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Continue with Psalm 146, found on page 803. The second link in the description will take you to that area of the prayer book. Say with me, Psalm 146. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Put not your trust in rulers, nor any child of earth, for there is no help in them. When they breathed their last, they returned to earth, and in that day their thoughts perish. Happy are they who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the seas and all that is in them, who keeps his promise forever, who gives justice to those who are oppressed and food to those who hunger. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord cares for the stranger. He sustains the widow and orphan, but frustrates the way of the wicked. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, throughout all generations, Hallelujah.
The reading appointed is from the prophet Zechariah. Sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion, for lo, I will come and dwell in your midst, says the Lord. Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day, and shall be my people, and I will dwell in your midst. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. The Lord will inherit Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and will again choose Jerusalem. Be silent, all people, before the Lord, for he has roused himself from his holy dwelling. Here ends the reading. We return to the prayer book on page 119. That's also the first link in the description under this video. We continue with the Song of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed, the Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones. He has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We continue with an ancient affirmation of our faith. Say with me the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. These prayers are intended to be responsive. I say, the Lord be with you. Respond in the traditional form and also with you. Let us pray. Continue with the traditional setting of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Continue with a revised setting of Suffrage B. Please respond by saying, Lord, hear our prayer. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Lord, hear our prayer that your angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. Lord, hear our prayer. 
we ask you to comfort all those affected by COVID-19. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. Lord, hear our prayer. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be bound together in your, by your Holy Spirit in the communion of Blessed Mary, Elizabeth, and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, by whose grace the Virgin Mother of your incarnate Son was blessed in bearing him, but still more blessed in keeping your word, grant us who honor the exaltation of her lowliness to follow the example of her devotion to your will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. Give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. We'll say together a prayer of St. Chrysostom. This dates back to the third century from the Orthodox tradition. Please join me. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen.